Precision medicine has real potential to remake the healthcare industry. By applying a deeper understanding of diseases with richer patient data and advanced analytics, precision medicine can help physicians tailor treatments to the needs of individual patients. While PM will lead to better outcomes for patients, it also raises questions along the entire pharma value chain. There is a fundamental transformation going on in healthcare right now. Precision medicine helps to truly see an individual rather than just a patient. And by this, we can truly tailor therapies to the extent we need. But at the same time, this raises important questions for pharma to prepare for their future. Will big pharma at the end actually survive or be disrupted? And what can we do to evolve and thrive in this new environment? In early 2017, Strategy and conducted a global survey asking more than 100 executives from top 20 pharma and biotech companies their opinion on precision medicine. We asked if precision medicine was on their radar. Their answers were clear. When we asked if they see PM as a threat or an opportunity for pharma, they spoke with one voice. Precision medicine will deliver an incredible increase of efficiency across entire pharma. The majority of experts we talk to expects as much as 17% of cost reductions in R&D alone. Now, everyone talks about big data, but um, this precision medicine is about precision data and precision insights. So you have a huge impact across your entire value chain all the way down to label extensions. And what did pharma executives feel were the barriers for PM to achieve its true potential? Uncertain legal and regulatory frameworks, as well as data access and data integration, were seen as the main hurdles. At the same time, capability gaps and the need to adapt the company culture towards a more agile and startup-like mindset are perceived as the major internal barriers. Our study clearly indicates that pharma has understood the huge potential of precision medicine. Still, it was interesting to us that over 75% of executives fear they do not have the capabilities in-house to deliver on the premise. Looking forward, we are convinced that pharma should particularly look at two aspects. One is building and managing successfully external partnerships, and secondly, making sure they get the talent on board they need to deliver on the premise of precision medicine, which in many ways are people with non-traditional pharma background. The first movers will be the ones who shape the future market. If pharma is not moving today, there is a high risk that non-traditional players, non-pharma players will enter this market. We all know about the Googles and other startup companies who are extremely interested in the immense amount of data. And if pharma is not actively shaping and developing this market, others will.